We are going to get angelic messages for the week coming up here. That would be for September 11th, 2023. These are actually timeless. You can go back to the whole library of videos I have on this channel. Whatever you feel attracted to, go in and listen to it. Even if the whole reading you don't feel is for you, there's something in there that you needed to hear. All right. So if you would like to get more information about me, I do have a website, angelsouls444.com. So the format we're going to do here is I'm going to do a general overview and then we'll break it down into three groups. The way you choose your group, listen to the first part. Everybody listens to the first part. That's for everyone. And then you can breathe in, really tune into the heart space, quiet the ego and see where you're guided. Maybe it's group three. You feel a really strong pulse around group three. Go in and listen to that one. You might also feel a little bit of a pulse towards one, but it's not as you know intense as group three. Watch that second, so on and so forth, okay? So there is that. Now, I don't think I want to go to the cards just yet. I do also, it's September 11th, so if you guys know here in the United States, um, that was a day of tragedy in 2001. We honor the people that... Uh, crossed over during that time and especially honor the loved ones that they have here. And it's crazy to think that some of the children then are now full grown adults now. My love to each and every one of you. I know this is a very tough day of mourning for a lot of you, but uh, please listen to the message. Hopefully this will bring you some comfort. It, remember, it's not just about that one day, but we're looking at the energy of the whole week. We're taking a snapshot. So let me tune in here. Let's see what's happening here I'm seeing two things first I saw the head of a lion and then the lion kind of morphed into a ball of fire with the mane coming off of it like sort of like lapping flames makes me think of the sun Leo Okay, um, it's bigger than the, what I'm about to say, but this is the best I can put into words. This is a time of recapturing your, a bit of your self-esteem. So if you have been in survival mode, I made a whole video about that, or you feel like a failure, or you are so insecure that you overcorrect and try to convince yourself and everybody else that you're so important and you're so superior, uh, now's... Now's the time where that's getting worked out. Okay, now I'm not promising that every narcissist gets cured this week. But but there's love coming. There, I mean, love is always available. You're allowing it to come in. This is a major breakthrough moment in that you're dispelling the lies. You're catching yourself saying, whoa, wait a minute, why, why am I assuming that like, I'm not strong when we went through all the stuff we went through in the past three years. Um, a lot of the economy got wrecked during that time. People are still struggling. The regular man is still struggling. There's a lot of things just kind of coming at us at every turn. So how is it that I'm going to sit here and blame myself for all of that? All I can do is take accountability for the things I have control over, right? So there's, as simplistic as that may sound, there's a deep understanding. It's finally landing for you. Now, this is incredibly freeing. They just show me something snapping off. So think uh, we, with angels, especially we talk about um, cord cutting and working with Archangel Michael to do that. I've heard people really try to fight that for some reason, Um cool. You do whatever you want. Okay. Whatever works for you. You can see it as cords. You can see it as like energetic interference. You can see it as junk in your energy field. I don't know. Whatever you want. But let's say for our purposes here, we're going to call it a cord. I saw a cord snap. So something has been sort of plugged into us. They're actually showing it like a plug. It's unnatural. It has made us crazy. It has made us crazy. It has taken away. They keep talking about nutrients, which I think is interesting. It has taken away our ability to absorb nutrients. And so. 
food supply has adapted to what we can take in. We're being treated like machines on many levels, work machines, energy machines, we're the fuel. We're just the fuel. Or, or so we thought. Part of what happens here is that gets snapped open and our power comes back. So like the true soul self has a chance to come on back and uh, sort of reanimate if you want to see it that way. So this might find you suddenly getting sick from regular what we would call food especially here in the United States this might find you suddenly being repulsed by certain movies um, certain behaviors that once were considered entertaining, funny I'm thinking of pranks, you might be suddenly really repulsed by pranks um, somebody who's gossiping or just wants to um, create drama to get a charge out of it. Very low frequency, you back away from it. And even if, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that they feel guilty because they feel like they've part partaken in that. Um, I did too. When I was in the corporate world, whew, whenever you're in, your envir in a certain environment, it does because become survival. So maybe you try to fit in. I was young and dumb. I was trying to fit in because I didn't have a strong sense of self and um, I had a lot of people constantly diminishing me talking down to me so I I got into this mindset of I don't know anything I better listen to everybody else and so it became normalized their terrible behavior their toxic behavior became normalized and I'll tell you I never liked gossiping but on occasion the gossip was on occasion the gossip was about me there was a whole era at the last corporation, yeah, because I was, long story, it's so stupid. It was all made up, all made up just to like destroy a person's reputation. But, you know, I got into that and I, I it became survival where like someone's like, hey, I, I heard something about you and it's just gossip. But I'm like, what? What? I need to know this, right? Because I thought I needed that information to protect myself. Then I realized it's all a bunch of BS and they were doing it just to watch me react. And I was like, bye, I got a meeting to go to. I don't, <laughs> I don't need any of this. So those kinds of things you might suddenly find very repulsive. And I don't mean that in a judgmental way. See, one of the problems we have with uh, supposed spiritual people, there's a lot of fakes out there. A lot of fakes. Um, Boulder, Colorado, I'm going to call you out right here, right now. You fake. It's one of the most, um, ah, sorry, I know, Michelle, you're so mean. They call that, that whole town just sort of identifies as a very spiritual place. And then you go in there and it's a bunch of entitled people acting superior, pretentious. Um, I'm better than you because I went, there's, there's, a, I don't know, like a temple over here and I went to it and blah, now I know everything. That is exactly what you don't want. As soon as someone says, I'm super, or acts superior to you because I've been through this, this, this spiritual practice, right there shows you their intention. They don't care about connecting to something divine. They want to use that as a point of control. They want to get another tool so they can do better in this physical world. See what I'm saying? Because, or they want to feel above everyone. Because a real wise person is going to be just bringing the love. Bringing unconditional love. When I went through Boulder, the tea factory, was it Celestial Teas? They were great. They gave me tea. I love them, okay? <laughs> but I even went to like a grocery store. Oh my God, it was so horrible going through this grocery store. I, I want to refrain from that word that's been going around about entitled white women. Um, but there was a lot of them. Okay. There was a lot of them and they come in male form too. Uh, so they were just, it was just gross. It was just gross. That's not the gig. That's not the gig. And I think, uh, not enough of us are talking about that. So there's that. Uh, there's a lot of realization around that and unplugging from the control mechanism. Now this is not... Your fear mongerers, those people who, I don't know. It's almost like they're manifesting disasters because they get a charge out of it. Or they're manifesting 
for the sake of mystery. It's important to get information out there, but you got to be doing it in the right kind of way, not in a way that is meant to scare people or to give you something. I want to use the B word, but something to complain about. Because that's what a lot of people do. We've been lied to and I want to complain about this, this, and this. Instead of, hey, I have some information. Here's what I found out. I'm laying that down for your consideration. Isn't that a nicer way? I think so. So pay attention to this week. There could be a lot of things that suddenly make you wake up. It's a big wake up time. But not, again, not in this conspiracy kind of way. Again, I know there are, you, there are nice conspiracy theorists out there. I know. But some of you, you're getting a little bit of boil going on in your blood right now, aren't you? And maybe you followed me for a long time. I've seen y'all. You comment when I, when I say stuff like this. You take it personally and you want to fight me on it. When you do that, let me get close to my microphone. You just prove my point. You want the argument. You don't want the truth. Some of you. That's not everybody. Now I messed up my microphone. So anyway, is it a great week? Yeah, it can be. Certainly. Are you going to allow it to be? It's time to go deeper. Right. So we'll leave it there for this portion. And we're going to get into the groups. If you want to check out more information, go to my website. Oh, there's my little niece in the background. <laughs> uh, Angelsouls444.com. Personal readings are available. You can get the standard reading on my website. That's the typical type of reading that I do. Every once in a while, I will have space for live readings. For those, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I'm also offering a couple of new things here. One would be learning angel mediumship. This is a live one-on-one. -on -one. If you want to see it as course, okay? So it's not a general thing. It's not for... Um, Every, a whole class. It's me and you together. And you would be learning angelic mediumship. With that, you have some choices. You can do just one course, one, one hour session if you want. Or you can buy the whole series. It's going to be four one hour sessions. You can do that. Email me again at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to get that set up. You, again, you can pay for the whole package. You can pay individually you can just get the one whatever is right for you okay the other thing I'm offering is another live one-on-one -on -one session with me did I say one hour a one hour live session <laughs> with me where we look at how you personally can connect to your angels better so this is not a personal reading let's make that distinction please do not come in to that session and say okay I want to know why this person doesn't like me we're not starting off with that energy. We're not doing that energy. That can be a personal reading because if that's something that you want to look at a situation and work through that, that's one thing. But uh, this is more about we're going to look at your whole energetic field. We're going to see where some of the blocks are, where some of the belief systems and work through that. So there is some angelic messaging coming through, but in regards to that, not a situation. Okay. And when I will work with you personally. We'll go through some activities, whatever is right for each client about how to clear that away. I do it right there with you. And then I teach you how to connect with your angels better. So again, same thing. Email me angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Let me know if that is something you are interested in. So there's that. Now we're getting on to the groups. <laughs> Take care.
Hi the group one. Let's see what is going on for you in addition to the original, uh, the first part of the video. Okay. So for you, we have life experience. So already something's breaking away. We have 16 reduces to seven. This is something that is long overdue, should have happened a long time ago. You ha you're just hanging on. Maybe you're afraid of change. But we have Archangel Samuel here. Whatever goes away this week was getting in the way of you reaching your potential. Whatever goes away this week, whether it's a mindset or maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a job, maybe it's a home, it was keeping you from loving yourself. And you might go or be tempted to go into disaster thinking. Again, there's this narrative out there about how scared we should all be. And all that's in play right now. But Archangel Shamuel is coming through and saying, enough. I can feel your heart calling out and asking for change. But your brain's getting in the way. If that person wasn't working with me, then I would be happy. Instead of looking at yourself. What am I contributing to that dynamic instead of looking at it and going okay this just doesn't fit me I shouldn't be doing this those kinds of things okay so it's deep contemplation kind of time a significant life event a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings it's time to break free of whatever you've been hanging on to and you know you've been hanging on to it you know you're not supposed to be doing it <laughs> okay to a air this is where you've been stuck being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. So there is like, I can't figure this out. So I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna close this down. I don't even care. So that is holding you up. And this is the reason why the life experience card is coming out. So because you've been torn, something comes in and sort of makes the decision for you. So you can have a renewal. I love the story that these uh, <laughs> bring up. The number 20 reduces to two. You need to be balanced and harmonized. So whatever's going away this week, something's going away this week, number one. But whatever does go away, like I said, it's keeping you from your fullest potential and it's knocking you out of balance. So that has to go. Uh, renewal, Archangel Jeremiah. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. This is giving a feeling here of, let's say... A job was supposed to be temporary. I did this when I, this is how I got suckered into the last corporate job I was in. It was, oh, you just work in this job for a year. Then we'll move you over to, you know, something that's a little more um, on the career track that I was heading towards. And it was a lie. It was an absolute lie. So you might be going, hey, I can't keep giving faith to people who are, messing with me all right they're getting in the way of my goals so you might be letting that go and that's saying uh time to move in a new direction something that was supposed to be temporary has gone on too long and then we have the world 21 reduces to three if you keep coming from the ego self this is all going to fall apart if you get into a higher wisdom your fifth dimensional energy you'll get more of the answers and you'll have a chance at a rebirth okay the world archangel michael a job well done so you learn your lesson this week that's good. Joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. I mean, enlightenment's kind of a big word, but <laughs> you do have some sort of renewal and rebirth. So that is beautiful. Let's get more. Let's get more. What more, please? Okay. Oh, oh. Mm. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I don't feel like crawling around the floor and picking up cards. Okay. You have white. Lighten up. The number is 24. Reduces to 6. Lighten up. You're taking the physical realm way too seriously. And you're forgetting yourself. That's a lot of what the messaging has been in general. But it's important. It's important for you to reevaluate what you're taking so seriously, what you're putting energy into. I have had clients come in and they will pay money for a personal reading. Now I'm not down playing or talking down or whatever, but I'm explaining like where people's minds can be. I have had people come in and pay good money to go, this coworker annoys me. Like what's her problem? Can you tune in? Okay, first of all, we don't do that here. 
angels and any authentic angel practitioner, we go by the same laws that the angels do, which is that they cannot interfere with human free will. So if you have a true ethical angel practitioner, they will not interfere with human free will. Even their readings should be more about giving you guidance and potentials and not doing like what some tarot readers do, priding themselves on being predictive and then basically lying to you. Okay, I'm sorry. Some of them are like, this is what's going to happen. If they say this could happen, this is giving the energy of this. Here's what you could do with that. That's an ethical tarot reader. Okay, just to give you a little bonus side thing on that. Um, so you're in for massive change this week. And if you don't allow it, it's going to pull on you hard. Um, let's go back to the example of people who are like, well, my coworker this, my coworker's to blame, my coworker's the problem, and blah, 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 all this stuff. And they take no accountability for their own actions. They're going to get fired this week. Oh, is that, <laughs> is that being predictive? Um, there's a, well, there's a massive ending. Some of them might get fired. Okay. For others, they're going to get a scolding. Um, but they're going to get put in their place in one way or another because that's the energy that they're sitting in. Again, how that plays out just depends, but it's definitely a potential. So we will leave it there for you guys and get on to group two. Hi there, group two. Let's see what is going on for you. What you need to be ready for. What kind of massive changes evolution <laughs> all the good stuff all right all right first up for you is six of air you're moving away from something this feels like an escape you're escaping something things are looking up the end of a difficult situation taking a trip this, this is not the normal uh, meaning of this card, but what I'm seeing here is it, it's almost like a shipwreck, not a literal shipwreck. This is metaphorical. It's like a shipwreck and you get into the lifeboat and now you have everything you need and now you can finally get away from this. So there's, again, the word escape keeps coming up. So, uh, it's going to play out in a lot of different ways. Let's get more. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even read it for you. I'm so sorry. Uh, did I? Yes, I did. Um, think, let me read it again. Things are looking up the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. So I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I needed to read that again. All right. Unity, the number five. Major change coming. But if you don't make unity, like, in a pure sense, not in the, like, spiritual bypassing sense. We're like, oh, we're just all one. And that's just a... steps, please. Can we get there? <laughs> like, unity means first that we have to respect and honor one another. And we have to pinpoint and see where our resentments get sparked and look at why those resentments are there. I will never have unity. So this is Archangel Sandalfin being very grounded and balanced in this. Traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. So for some of you, this could now be a new beginning in spiritual beliefs, spiritual practices. You're moving away from a, feels like a group, moving away from a group. Oh, group one had this too. Renewal, Archangel Jeremiah, 20 reduces to two. Again, about balancing. That's what Archangel Sandalfin is talking about too. So we have a life review going on here. Archangel Jeremiah, review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Got that six of error and then this. Time to move on. You don't like the division. You don't like being, you know, what for some of you, and this is very specific, but for some of you, this could be like you're in a work environment where you're put in competition with someone else and you're realizing like, I don't, I don't like this. You know, I don't like being um, played like this. Something along those lines. Ego. You're ready to escape the ego stuff. This is great. So the number is 15 which can be a number of change, but it reduces to six. It's change in your material world. So for a lot of you, I think this is around a job. I mean, it can't be anything in the ego consciousness realm. So home, love, money, creative projects, you know, all the things. So ego, Archangel Jophiel, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. 
you're breaking free, or at least you're attempting to break free of this now because you know that the game is just serving to separate you. It's not serving. It's not like you're, it's, it's at the cost of your happiness and your peace. Okay. So let's see what else we have for you guys. Could that truck be any louder? I don't know, but that's my ego getting ruffled. <laughs> Just as an example. <laughs> okay, here's your card. Indigo, improve your vision. Numbers 40 reduces to four. Of course, this is cosmic connection with your angels. But the indigo comes through intuition. This is not the kind of, you know, like ego, and this exists, ego intuitive head. You know this occurs when you hear someone say, my ego says, my guides say this, and my guide, blah, 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 blah. my intuition says that I'm going to be famous one day, whatever. So, you know, this is your intuition from a non-judgmental space. We all are, again, the ego is going to make us judge because it's there to kind of assess and make sure we're not getting ourselves into trouble. But this is from a pure spiritual place, which means, you know, you might be getting uh, an intuitive hit that has to do with peace instead of uh, success, okay? It has to do with harmony instead of how can I get one over on this person? My intuition says I should do this. Or I've heard this many, many times. My intuition says that that person's talking behind my back. So what? If they are, that's a whole lot of their problem and it doesn't need to be yours. Clearly, you're getting something from that if you want to engage in it, right? Now, that is not to say that that's the same thing as not setting boundaries with people, do you see what I'm saying? Like some people love the drama of things, but also don't be someone who's an enabler and just lets people get away with whatever. Come from a good place. It's about the intention, the energy you bring into it and what is right for you in that moment. If you have had somebody, you know, it's not about like that person doesn't like me and I want to get into the drama. But if you're like someone is speaking ill on my name and it's affecting my energy field, then you have a right to set a boundary. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. All right. So we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hi, group three. Let's see what is going on for you. We dropped a card. What is it? Three of air. Okay. So this is a week that's really rough for some people. We have September 11th leading off this week. So this might be um, part of this. Great sadness. Take time to heal. The need to forgive yourself or others. I know that's a big statement, especially when it comes to people who have endured so much, but you have support and that's, I think, why this is coming off. This is more of an acknowledgement for those of you who are going through any bit of heartbreak. Yeah, they're saying we're just letting you know that you are seen, you are understood, you are loved, you are supported. And that's why that's kind of, so it doesn't mean that there's going to be heartbreak. So it might be sad if you're moving on from it, but they're there to help you. Yeah. To give you strength. Here it is. 11. 11 is a master number that has to do with ascension. It has to do with raising your frequency, broadening your consciousness, right? This is Archangel Ariel. Comes from like the, uh, how should I put this? Kind of pulling um, strength from the earth, right? The earth supporting you. So this says great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So it takes a very strong person to release and to forgive. And that's what this is talking about here. And again, with that three of air, you're really being hit with something. And it's it's there to spark a breakthrough. Could it be unpleasant? Sure. But there might have been something that you've been hanging on to for a very long time. And your angels are saying, hey, this is messing up your energy field. And it's like something has taken up residency in your energy field and it's time to release it. Six of fire, victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. Now the six of fire is saying you do in fact come through, but don't forget he, he's coming home from war. So he's battle weary. He's happy right now because he's out of it, <laughs> but he's got to go home and pretty soon the, um, you know, the memories are going to pop in and he's, he's still got a long road ahead of him. He, the victory is that he's made it home. He's made it home safely. So you have that option, metaphorically speaking, to make it home safely, but then that other stuff is going to start coming up. But now you're in a place where you have the strength to deal with it. 
okay? With proper support, remember these are not a replacement for therapy or for medical advice whatsoever. So you have a right to be supported and loved in every way, okay? Yeah, then we have five of water, things not turning out the way you'd hoped, not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. This, we're coming up on the 1010 portal. And the 1010 portal is going to make things fall away. And it's not the kind of thing where like your angels, your guides come in and they take something away from you or the universe comes and takes something away from you. It's, it's, they're saying it's an energetic wearing down and it finally snaps. So think of a frayed wire. If you're constantly just hanging on to it, still using it, and then all of a sudden it just kind of snaps. It's worn down. It had to go. You've been keeping yourself from a new beginning and you have been sort of swirling in pain. And so something's coming about to help you with that. Okay. So let's get you a color card as well. you guys I love this card okay so we have cyan and it's build your confidence the number is 35 reduces to eight so you whatever's going away it was blocking you anyway okay or whatever comes up and maybe it's a painful memory you're processing it you're coming on through and you're opening yourself up to a beautiful existence here but you got to follow the process it may not be completely fun but you deserve good all right. And that's what you're discovering now. But not only like, hey, I deserve good. But now you're realizing here's here's I, I keep saying that to myself. But then here's the behavior I go into or I keep saying that to myself. And then here I let this person back in or I'm letting that memory still have control over me. OK, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love. Please accept it <laughs> and take care. Bye bye.